Hi all you awesome people! In this episode I want to share with you diaper bag that I had and what I will be putting in my diaper bag with all the stages of elimination communication. From a newborn, infancy, a toddler, potty training toddler, and then to what we have now. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nisa and I summarize parenting books into short videos weekly. I also provide videos on our own parenting style. Well, let's get to the diaper bag. First off, I actually don't have one of those fancy, really fashionable diaper bags. We're not minimalist by any means, but we're just really practical. So, we use a hiking bag. We took one of our smaller ones and this is kind of what we use for um, the diaper bag throughout all the stages. And it works fine with us. It's got lots of pockets and enough for snacks. What I'm not gonna include in this video are snacks, um, entertaining items like toys or anything that we would keep also when in the bag when we go out. But I'm gonna focus this video solely on what we do for elimination communication outside of the house. So this is what I would pack for a newborn doing elimination communication. First I wanna talk about is this little potty that you see here. This is not a top hot potty as you can see. I'm actually using this one through the whole stages now. I'm very excited about it. I didn't have it before. I used an insert or a small potty, which took up a lot of space. But this one you can see is pretty slim, fits in the diaper bag, not too heavy, not bulky at all. For the newborn though, I'm gonna remove all the parts here and I'm only gonna use this insert. I purchased this on Amazon and we'll go through the rest of the potty for the other stages when we actually need it. So for the newborn, this is everything that I would pack. And we are expecting our son or daughter in October. We don't know the sex and we're gonna keep it that way. So let's go through all the items that you see here. First thing is a changing pad. You wanna get some sort of changing pad. I just purchased this blue snail changing pad and just something for the child to lay down on. So that's also really nice. Then if you are doing cloth diapering or not, I do suggest having a wet and dry bag. I purchased this one also on Amazon where a lot of my purchases are from. It's from Baby Goal and it came with a packet of three different wet bags. There is a dry section and then there is a wet bag for when you have soiled or wet items, clothes, even anything that you know you don't want to get everywhere else and you just zip it up and then you put it everything in the laundry once you get home. So next item I'm going to talk about is clothes. So we do cloth diapering. On long trips, we will have backup disposables packed as well, but most of the time we are doing cloth diapers. I don't have any particular cloth diaper brands that I care. I buy, you know, what's available, what's cheap, some used ones, but these are the newborn sizes. I do suggest carrying one, um, diaper per hour that you're out or per every two hours, whatever you're most comfortable with. I usually only carry two diapers when I go out of the house. My outings aren't an all day affair. If they are, then I would carry a lot more. But I find that two is enough. Then another thing, because I do cloth diapering and you, when you have a newborn, you'll also want to carry a few clothes. Um, best thing for when you're doing cloth diapering because they are bulky is to have just regular t-shirts. These are hard to find. So I also do have some onesies and all I do is I just don't unbutton the bottom and that's it. I like to carry a bib and then because we do cloth diapering, having pants going over the cloth diaper isn't really practical, especially when you do elimination communication, you are changing the diaper a lot more frequently. So what we like to do is just to have leg warmers. And so these are used leg warmers that T wore and so we're just gonna use this for the next baby. Now onto this row, last bit here. We actually don't use a lot of baby wipes. We're not baby wipe free, but I think throughout the entire time we've had tea, we've used two packets of baby wipes. So I don't actually have any. I do have some facial wipes here, so I'm just gonna use that as an example. I'll have to get like 
one or two packets for the next baby. But you, I do carry some wipes. Instead, what we do use is towels. These are bamboo fiber based towels and we just use towels and um, a squirt bottle filled with water and we'll just wash up the baby that way, towel them up, put everything in the wet bag, of course, and then you'll wanna carry some hand sanitizer with you as well. It's always great to have a doggy bag or this is a little potty liner. Now, as for the potty, the top hat potty is very popular for going out. It is small, it is compact. I never used one, but I'm gonna use this instead. And this is just a little foldable container that goes in that um, portable potty that I showed you. And what I will do is go ahead and either put this in between my legs and then hold the baby over and let the baby urinate or poop in the potty and you can use the little potty liner if you want less of a cleanup or if it's just pee then i would just squirt it with some water dump it out and then i will wash it a lot more properly at home and that's it pretty minimal pretty simple let's go on to the next stage now all right so now my baby girl is into infancy she's about four to five months and this is what i carried in my diaper bag so i'm still using the changing pad because she's still in diapers and we're switching um laying her down to change i am still bringing a wet bag actually i always bring a wet bag this is like great have a wet bag and then diapers my cloth diapers got a little bit bigger the newborn ones I'm gonna show you. The newer ones are so tiny and then you have the bigger sized ones. So now she is in the bigger diapers. I do pack one to two cloth diapers depending on how long the outing is. And of course, if it's an all day thing, I'll pack a lot more. I would estimate about one diaper per hour that you're out or per every two hours, what you're most comfortable with is enough and will do just fine. Then I don't really pack any extra clothes. It depends on the weather, but if it's during the summer, I just pack a nice little bib. And once again, because we are doing cloth diapering, having pants is just really not functional. So I use leg warmers or long socks. Now our last row of items, always have a nice little doggy bag or this is a potty liner. We have disposable wipes and then um, cloth wipes, the squirt bottle with some water in and then some hand sanitizer. So now I'm gonna show you this potty. This top part just comes off. This insert also pops off if needed. And then the legs, the legs fold outward. You press them in and Push this out. And you have a little potty. So this is something that I would keep in my diaper bag. And you can see here, there's the adult potty, the toddler potty, and then a tiny little potty that I brought with me in my stroller. But now I'm super excited just to have this because this will all fit in my diaper bags very easily, a little bit heavier. I think it's great. And then when they eliminate, if you want to keep less of a mess, you can always put a potty liner. This uh, set does come with two rolls of potty liners as well. If it's just pee, once again, I just squirt it with some water, wash it out, and then can clean it a lot better when I get home. I do want to tell you that we actually do potty our child also in the sink, the big toilet, um, outside on the grass, the concrete, in a park, bushes, wherever we are. So we don't always use this, but it's kind of nice to have as well. The last thing I do want to mention is because at this point and stage, she is able to sit up partially with some assistance, we start keeping a little potty station in the car. And I use the Ikea mini potty. My daughter decorated it with stamps. But I use the Ikea mini potty and then we just keep a little towel in there just to wipe her up a little bit and then 
we're off to go. So this stays in the trunk of my car and then everything else that you see here would go in the diaper bag. Okay, everyone, now T is one years old. She's past infancy and she's into toddlerhood. And this is when I started transitioning her from diapers to training undies. So first thing, I'm still carrying a changing pad just in case because I might have to do a diaper change. A wet bag because you gotta have a wet bag. And as for the diapers, I'm only carrying one diaper and then I start transitioning into training undies and I'm carrying these when I go out of the house. This does hold one pee. There's a little pad here, a small pee, but it will still leak through the clothes, which is now why I start carrying clothes, pants or shorts, depending on the weather. Um, again, disposable wipes, a little doggy bag or a potty liner, something plastic, some cloth diapers. Oops. Sorry, some cloth wipes as well, squirt bottle for cleaning, and then Purell or hand sanitizer. As you can see, I'm not carrying that portable potty in my diaper bag anymore. Things are just getting less and less. What we do keep in the car is a small potty, of course. And what we do is we potty her right after we get to the destination where we're going, we offer her the potty and then when um right before we put her back in the car seat we offer her the potty again and if we need to use the public restroom we'll just potty her over the toilet or if it's a family restroom sometimes we do it over the sink even or outside wherever we are we kind of just get a little bit more creative there last thing i want to point out is the diapers so the diapers I do an all-in-one diaper when we go out and I always stuff it because the fleece kind of prevents that wet feeling. It wicks away that moisture and I want her to be more comfortable when we're out and about. So I do switch out. This is the Mama Koala diaper. I do switch out the insert because the microfiber isn't that, it doesn't work that well. So I have a hemp blend insert in here. And for the newborn, it's the same. I do an all-in-one, I stuff it again so they don't feel that wetness when we're going out, so they're not as uncomfortable. And that's it. So now let's move on to the next stage. You are transitioning to more fully potty trained child. So now you're like really into the potty training. Okay, let me set it up. Now T is 15 months old and that is when we decided and committed ourselves to potty training our child. At 15 months, I took away all the diapers except at night. And so now we're only using training undies. You can see things are really dwindling down. We have the wet bag. I don't have the changing pad anymore for sure. She is standing, she's walking. She doesn't need to lay down for a diaper or underwear change. So that's why I don't carry a changing pad anymore. I just have some undies, definitely have extra clothing, weather permitting, pants or shorts, and then the disposable wipes, a little pot, um, doggy bag or a little bag, cloth wipes, and then Purell. And you can see the squirt bottle, the little squirt water bottle is gone. And the reason why is because at this point, I know she's not going to poop when we go outside of the house and she only poops at home. She's where she's comfortable. So I don't have to worry about actually washing everything very well. In the trunk of our car, we keep a small potty with a little cloth wipe. These potties are from Ikea. That's what we use. And they're only $5. So we have two of these, one um, in my car that kind of just stays there. And we potty her during transition times. And sometimes she'll be telling us that she needs to go potty and we'll just take her like outside of the restaurant back to the car, have her go to the potty, and then bring her back inside. And that's worked well for us. And this is everything that we carry. This is the exciting time now. T is pretty much 90% potty trained or 80% whatever I have misses. And we are transitioning to a little tiny backpack. This is now my purse, I guess. But I got this little backpack, it's toddler size because she just loves wearing it and wants one. And so I got one for her and everything that I bring now actually just fits in here. So we have the wet bag. I'm going to show you how the wet bag is used. The dry pocket is where you would put all the clean stuff in. So now I carry one training undie, 
one towel in the bag and that's it actually that is it and if I'm not feeling lucky or if I'm concerned I'll carry a change of pants or shorts depending on the weather and then when they do get soiled you just take the soil part and you put it in the wet wet bag part and the dry bag and everything stays clean so that's how that works so that goes in my little diaper bag and then maybe a pair of shorts during the summer or a pair of pants during the winter um, a little Purell I'll put that on the side pocket and my wallets and stuff will also fit in here perfectly and this is what now I carry so when I go to any equipments that we've been going to especially for the midwife she always comes with me I just have this and a nice little drawing pad to keep her entertained a piece of paper and some crayons and then a few snacks as well in here and that's all I have to carry and of course, we are still carrying that small potty in the car. We pretty much just leave one in the car all the time. And that's one with a little towel. And it's just a lot more um, convenient and comfortable for her to potty in the small potty when we go out. So I don't know when this is gonna disappear, honestly. Probably when she can actually sit up on the toilet by herself. Right now, if I go to a public restroom, I have to hold her um, up on the toilet or else she'll just fall in. Now, I just wanna pack the diaper bag this is the other one that i would always carry until she got into a really good potty training stage you have the portable potty that's going to go in the bag and if your child is still in diapers changing pad now for the wet bag so here's that dry compartment i'm going to pack two cloth diapers in here you can always pack disposables no worries and then a little towel Okay, I'm gonna zip this up and then I leave the wet bag part open and that goes in my bag along with a squirt bottle that goes on the side pocket just like this that goes on the side pocket Purell also I like to put it on the side pocket or hand sanitizer a doggy bag and then the bib if needed or leg warmers depending on the weather Besides snacks or any toys, that's in my diaper bag. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you found this video super helpful. If you want more videos on elimination communication, you can click on this link above here. There's a whole elimination communication series that I've, I've been putting together. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome. And with love from the Kachin family to yours, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.